Hi, my name is Haley Murphy. I'm an engineering associate under the Technical Entities Department at AICHE. Um, today I'm here with Jeff Hubble, uh, Eugene Bell Professor in Tissue Engineering, um, Institute for Molecular Engineering at the University of Chicago. Jeffrey is the 2018 James E. Bailey Award winner. Thank you for joining us today, Jeff. My pleasure. It's nice to see you. It's my pleasure. So the first question I have for you today is, what does receiving this award mean to you? Well, to me, to receive the Jay Bailey Award is, is uh, quite an honor. I, I was uh, fortunate to, uh, to know Jay and to uh, work at the same institution as he did uh, at ETH uh, Zurich uh, in Switzerland. Uh, he was, uh, in my mind, uh, one of the quintessential bioengineers, chemical engineers doing bioengineering, who deeply knew his biology. Uh, so he came at the problem from an engineering perspective, from that background, but really dived into the, uh, the biology so deeply and understood it masterfully. And by doing that, was able to innovate. And uh, so that's how I try to mimic my career after people like him diving deeply into the biology. And uh, so to be, uh, to be honored somehow by association with his name is a, is a great deal for me. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Um, so what is your insight on what makes a good leader like yourself? Yeah, I think uh, leadership comes in, in uh, more, than one, more than one flavor or more than one aspect. Uh, so uh, I, I try to get involved in both of those kinds. One is in leadership more at the, at the broad level, not the scientific level, but the organizational level, whether it's leadership in your own institution by service on, on committees or as an associate chair or a chair or even higher, uh, or whether it's leadership in the scientific community by service uh, on ed editorial boards and uh, as editors of, of scientific journals. And so there I think the key thing is to have a passion about the the task, a passion about the activity, rather than a view of yourself in that activity. Not, I will be recognized if I'm an editor of X, but indeed, the editor of X needs to do a good job and I need to be in there doing a great job and working hard and not working with my colleagues. I think that uh, that selfless attitude in leadership is really critical, whether it's at the departmental level or at the national level in, in organizations like the ICHE or in journals uh, like the ICHE would promulgate. So there's also scientific leadership, meaning leadership in the research lab. And there, I think uh, it's, it's quite, a, quite a different task. And you find people who are good at one and not at the other and vice versa. Um, but uh, to be a real leader in the field, of, in your field, in, in uh, scientific research, I think the key thing is to be driving to new questions. That, uh, that the, the, the leader is the one in front. She, he is the one in front asking the new questions and then by doing that, really creating new sub-disciplines within their field, creating whole, uh, whole new sessions at AICHE meetings, for example, based on your new question that you and your students went and asked and answered and then created a new sub-discipline. I think that passion for the question is, is the real driver. Okay, that's great. Um, my last question for you would be, for all the young engineers out there, do you have any advice for them? Well, it's, it's a very... Uh, challenging time, especially in academia, uh, to be uh, you know, someone starting out in that the funding considerations are not the best. Uh, it's, uh, it's a time when uh, one really needs to persist. Uh, you know, so the, the, the prize, uh, not the early worm, early bird gets the worm, but I think it's the bird that, that tries the hardest. I, I never was convinced that I was the smartest kid on the block just that I work the hardest. <laughs> and and I, I think that's the key thing, is, is uh, obviously uh, digging deeply into the literature in your research field, whether it's research or whether it's industry, whether it's development, but digging deeply into the literature, knowing deeply what your colleagues and other, other organizations are doing, uh, driving for, as I mentioned before, the next question, uh, really pushing all with all of your energies into the, into the question, the problem they're trying to solve. So another comment I'd make about, uh, about young, uh, young engineers that I think uh, you know, there are two paths that one takes, either an academic path or an industrial path. And I have deep respect and admiration for both paths. Uh, I'm, I'm as delighted uh, when one of my students goes to work uh, in, a, in a biotech company as I am when they 
get a position at a, at a world leading university. I think they can have an opportunity to have impact on society, impact on marketplaces, impact on, on uh, trainees, whether they're trainees in industry or trainees in, in, in academia. Either way, uh, I, I think that uh, having a, a sort of an open perspective as to where they want to spend the next uh, decade or two decades or a few decades of their career, whether in academia or in industry, but I have deep respect for both pathways. That was amazing. Um, so nice meeting you. My pleasure. And thank you again, and congratulations. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks so much.